and Pomp was there. Bob Pompey and he was filling in as the stadium announcer at PPG Paints Arena last night. And what a game to do it that it worked out this so way. Beat. Selena took this video of him wrapping up his duties for the night. Selena, as you know, is mm -hmm. the in arena host. She she plays the games. She's out there. She's having so much fun. She said it was so cool getting to share that moment with her dad. Yeah, and by the way, the Penguins won that game last night too in overtime over the Flyers. So congratulations. Well, it was their first home game since the All Star break too. Yeah, and of course, February is also Black History Month. And did you know there's a club that is introducing young African American girls to the sport? of hockey and it was created after one woman fell in love with guess which team the Pittsburgh Penguins Daisy caught up with her good morning everyone Daisy Jade here and I'm so excited to introduce you all to a awesome program that was actually inspired by her love for the Pittsburgh Penguins I'm here with Renee Hess who is the founder and executive director of Black Girl Hockey Club thanks so much for joining us Renee morning Daisy thanks for having me of course. Now, again, I kind of familiar with your story, but for those that may not be, how in the world did you become a hockey fan? You know what? I became a hockey fan as an adult. I was actually visiting Pittsburgh. I saw the black and yellow and it got me curious. I started looking into hockey and of course, uh, Sidney Crosby, Chris Letang and Evgeny Malkin inspired me. They're amazing. And, and here we are. Yeah, and I love the fact that that actually inspired you to not just become a fan, but to do more. So explain to us um, the inspiration behind Black Girl Hockey Club. The inspiration behind Black Girl Hockey Club is really all about community and building a space for Black women to be to have a good time to enjoy and to be a hockey fan and we get together we have events we have a bunch of different programs and it's just a lot of fun yeah and i know that you've actually made um a few trips to pittsburgh you actually have a great connection with the penguins tell us about that Yes, I was actually in Pittsburgh for my birthday back in October. The best birthday gift that I got was the Pittsburgh Penguins signed the Black Girl Hockey Club Get Uncomfortable Pledge, and I got to go to two hockey games when I was in town. Oh my gosh, that's so exciting. Now, I, I know that with Black History Month, there's a lot of special programs going on with the Penguins as well. The Penguins have so many cool things happening in Black History Month. Last year, they started a digital programming service throughout the month of February and that they're going to be continuing this year. You'll see a little bit of Black Girl Hockey Club uh, footprints in some of that digital programming. I'm really excited about it. Plus, they kicked off Black History Month on January 30th, the official Black Hockey History Day in Pittsburgh. Very cool. We had some folks out there got to see the, a great game. Yeah, well, I love the fact that you really want to inspire people that may not be familiar with hockey to just get involved. And I really appreciate you, you know, sharing all of your stories with us. Now, if somebody did want to get involved, how would they do so? Well, you can follow us on social media. You can find us at Black Girl Hockey on Twitter or Black Girl Hockey Club on Instagram. You can also go to our website, blackgirlhockeyclub.org, where you can find out about our different programming. We have a scholarship program. We're actually just going to be announcing our new scholarship awardees for the winter season for Black History Month. We also have a leadership and development program for young professionals, Black kids of all genders who want to get involved in the sport of ice hockey but maybe don't actually know how to skate or play the game or are interested in getting involved in the executive side of the sport so we encourage folks to come check out the website sign up and see how they can get involved well i really appreciate you taking the time renee and good luck with your program thanks so much daisy go pens go pens I'm sure they were watching last night and it's such a yeah. cool organization. Renee mentioned those scholarships, $14,000 was awarded to the eight players you saw listed there. This is all to make hockey more accessible for black women and black girls. Yeah, and she also talked about the Penn's diversity programs, which are happening yeah. throughout the month of February.